Um, I just finished filming for y'all the sneak peek spoilers for the BoxyCharm May base box and I made that video so long that here I am talking to you all about the BoxyCharm premium spoilers we are seeing for May. Of course the important date that you need to uh, jot down, set your alarms for because that is when you're going to get to make your June choices as well as shop boxy pop up which I can't wait for. Anyways. Let's go ahead and jump into the disclaimer. If you're new here, hi, hello, and welcome. My name's Ron, and over here, we always embrace the hot mess because it's a judgment-free, drama-free, stress-free zone where we sit back, relax, drink tea, drink coffee, whatever it may be, and just have a good old time. Keeping it cute or putting it on mute. Let's go ahead and jump on in. So as always, anytime that I find anything on Instagram, I make sure to keep the handle on here. I am pulling all of this information from Boxy Sneak Peeks, so make sure to go over there and give them a follow. And uh, they always have the spoilers ready for us. Anytime, all the time. So make sure to give Boxy Sneak Peek a follow over there on Instagram. Make sure to give your girl a follow too at Hot Mess Mama of Four. I greatly appreciate it to all y'all who have jumped over there to help us get closer and closer to that 10K goal. Woo. I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you all so, so much. We hit the 10K goal over on Instagram. Y'all are the best. Thank you again. So when it comes to the BoxyCharm Premium Box, this is $35 a month. It is a monthly subscription and you now get to customize two of the items in your box. You always receive about $175 worth of goodies, sometimes more than that. And y'all, I love the fact that we're getting to make multiple choices because I tell you what, when it comes to the premium, they have seriously, in my opinion, stepped it up for the choices, which makes me uber happy. So the first choice that we had was the Bloom Effects Tulip, and it's the Royal Tulip Nectar was the name of it. I have been using it. I absolutely love it. I have to say, one of the tips that they gave us when we were sitting in on the Zoom call with Bloom Effects is if you use retinol, to let your retinol sink in and then put your Tulip Nectar on top of it, and you'll notice that it's not as like your retinol won't be as like irritating and peeling and I have to say 100% that is true like I typically always have a little bit of peel well a lot of peeling when it comes to my retinol but since I have been using it with my bloom effects I notice a little bit of peeling but it's definitely not as much as it used to be and I'm still getting that like slough and it's just been absolutely amazing on my skin on top of that, I did want to mention, if you have like stretch marks or anything, this is going to be something that you're going to absolutely love. I use my SOS spray by Tower 28, and then I will put it over like any stretch mark areas or any really dry, irritated skin. Though That concoction is amazing. So if you chose the Bloom Effects, you, you are going to love it. If you have dry cuticles, dry feet, that's where I'm placing mine. It's amazing. So that was choice number one. <laughs> Next, we did have the House Labs Glam Room Eyeshadow Palette. That, that was also a choice. Uh, for me, I would say go with the Bloom Effects. I did notice that I think both items were actually available in add-ons if you were interested in picking that up. Next, the choices were the Too Faced Melted Chocolate Liquid Eyeshadows, which I am kind of curious about those, to be honest with you. And I did like the shades that they had available. I think it was all of them, actually. But they were really pretty and neutral. So, Or you could have chose the Too Faced Hangover Primer, which I know it has been an OG favorite for many, many years here on YouTube. So those were all of your choices when it came to the premium box. So what we're seeing as some of the sneak peek spoilers for the premium box, we're seeing the MAC Cosmetics Single Shadow and the shade is it ripened and it's like a really pretty like raisiny burgundy color and it's kind of funny because you don't really hear matte cosmetic eyeshadows like you used to i feel like everybody still talks about their lipsticks but not so much their eyeshadows which i used to be obsessed with their eyeshadows so that is the first item next we are seeing the bite beauty agave daytime vegan lip balm which I love me a good lip balm, not upset about that whatsoever. Moving on, we see the Rhode Isle Beauty Dragon Blood Eye Mask. This is a five pack. These are amazing. 
I love eye masks. I love to just kind of relax, pamper, watch me eat my Real Housewives of Jersey or OC or Atlanta. I mean, you, I love them all. Except for New York. I'm really not into the Real Housewives of New York. I, it just, I just don't vibe with them. Oh, the Real Housewives of Dallas. I tell you what, I can hang out with those ladies. I think I, Carrie's a little over the top. But I think she could be fun. No, I'm lying. She intimidates the hell out of me. Sorry, pardon my French. But <laughs> Stephanie, Brandy, Deandra, yeah, Cameron. I think she'd be funny. But anyhow, anyways, Carrie. Yes, yeah, Carrie scares me. She she is. Whew, she's a lot. Anywho, I digress. Um. So next we are seeing the Bite Beauty Lip Cryon, and I think I got a mini of those in my Ipsy, and I really like it. Very very comfortable, and I wouldn't be upset. I think we have seen this before in the past. Maybe not. Maybe not. I I don't I don't really know. Okay, moving on. Serum Kind, um, this one I don't know anything about, the Black Blossom Hand Serum. Um, I think that hand serums or hand lotions I never get upset about because I feel like I always have dry hands. I am a germaphobe even prior to the panorama that's going on. I've always struggled with dry hands because I just constantly, constantly am washing or sanitizing or something. So I do like that they're throwing something like that in. Next we have the Grown Alchemist Body Cream. Again, I love to be uber hydrated. So I know a lot of people love the face cream that we received in the past. I think it was a premium box. So I'm, I'm excited to see this brand again. That is definitely something that I noticed with BoxyCharm is when we see a brand come in for example Grown Alchemist or Laura Mercier come in with a product we start to see them more which I do like and this is an expensive brand by the way um which goes right back to boxy made me bougie I say it all the time the LaRousse Beauty brush trio I think we've seen this before right maybe in like a Lux box I don't know I have a ton of brushes and I like that because I'm lazy and I don't like to wash my brushes all the time. So I just grab clean ones and then I, it's a vicious circle because then I sit scrubbing brushes for hours. But anywho, the next we see Otisite, I think is how you say it. Pure element, black cumin, something for pimples. I know nothing about that. I guess it's like a drop or something that you can put to a pimple. I, I don't really know. Um, this, I mean, I have teens in the house. I struggle myself sometimes with adult acne, so I'm never upset about seeing things like this. So let me know your thoughts on some of these sneak peek spoilers. Of course, as soon as I start seeing any full box reveals, I will be back to uh, talk to the talk to you all about those. As far as the specific date to make your choices, May 17th is when you're going to jump into your account, make your choice for the base and the premium box, and then you can shop till you drop. I'm I'm ready to start shopping for Christmas already. It's it's it just gets me really excited. <laughs> I love the deals. I love the deals. I was talking about that in my sneak peek spoiler base box. Oh my gosh. I just I can't wait. When it comes to boxy pop-up, it's big, it's bigger than add-ons. You save even more than you do in add-ons. The variety is so much bigger, and my bank account hates me and curses me all the time. But it's a good deal. I mean, it, it is what it is. I'm rambling. Okay, I'm hopping off for now. My, my kids are requesting lunch, so mom duties, here we go. So anyways, don't forget to check me out on my second channel, Hot Miss Mama Vlogs for plus size curvy girl fashion hauls. Also, over on Instagram at Hot Miss Mama of Four, and stay tuned for my unboxings that will be coming up with BoxyCharm as well as any more sneak peek spoilers that we have coming for June. Anyways, friends, until next time, as always, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed day. Kisses from Kentucky. Mwah! Bye.